So you can see no matter what angle you try to shoot this thing at, not even paying attention to the light, you can see that uh, you got power lines to deal with. Every composition. All right, good morning everybody. Today we're gonna head out and shoot some wonderful historic sites here in Virginia. So let's load up and head out. Because we're committed to black and white, we're gonna be shooting with the Leica M11 Monochrome. Turning the M11 Monochrome into this two-tone fashionista is the 35 Sumalux Steel Rim Remake. I'll tell you more about this lens later in the video. Our next stop goes back to the early days of America. Put up in 1750 by a then young surveyor, later known to be President George Washington, White Post serves as a directional marker for people transiting the rural Virginia countryside. Obviously it's been upgraded, it's got electric in the lighting. No more candles back in uh, George Washington's day. Now this is gonna be a challenge with all these power lines crisscrossing, forming a box around this thing. Cars coming here, cars coming here. That was a nice guy, he stopped for us. Didn't want a photo bomb. All right, we got the sun here backlighting this. Let's go on the other side. This is definitely gonna need some Photoshop work to get out all this modern stuff behind it. You can see all around there's power lines basically forming a box around this white post, which is really killing all the angles. No matter what angle you try to shoot this thing at, not even paying attention to the light, you can see that uh, you got power lines to deal with. Every composition. Across the street from White Post, look at this little beauty. Sinclair Gas. Fully restored. Beautiful. Of course, we got Toyota Tacoma back there. We got to get out of the shot. For use as motor vehicle fuel only, contains lead. We're pretty much going at the minimum focus distance. Supporting the White Post Village Association. There's not much inside here. Just a toolbox and a sign. Let's do a nice high angle on this sign here. Yeah, I'm not the most geometrically correct composition with uh, the post and everything, but I still like it. I don't know about you, I don't expect every photograph to be geometrically correct. Some people do, some people really get anal about that. I guess it's all your personal taste. This is super cool. It's like coat of arms or something. It's all kinds of history here in Virginia. Very colonial. You name it, they got it here. Especially out in Western Virginia. Let's get the backside here. The thermometer is only showing about 86, 88 degrees, but you're in the sun with the humidity being almost 90 95 percent it's just like a pressure cooker i'm just not used to it coming from arizona been out in the desert for the last few months and come back east here and the humidity just hits you hard and you can thank uh, atlas obscura for directing me here if you uh have a moment go on the internet and look at atlasobscura.com they also have an app i know for ios they may have it for android as well but that's a great resource for, for photographers to uh, look up different subject matter. The site is geared towards people that are looking for something off the beaten path, something a little unusual, and maybe even something dark, like dark history, like where people died or buried and things like that you'll find also on Atlas Obscura. It's a very interesting site, not the typical tourist attraction stuff. If you're looking for something, something unique to shoot, it's definitely a good, uh, good, good resource. Now let's talk more about the 35 Sumalux remake. You can go on eBay right now and find original copies of this lens from the 1960s going for more than $20,000. Wowzers! So with demand being so high on this lens, I think it was a smart move by Leica to bring back the lens and sell it as a reissued classic. The steel rim reissue is essentially the same design as the original from 1961, except the optics has newer glass and modern coatings. 
One hallmark of this lens design is its infinity lock. Bring the lens all the way to infinity, it locks closed. So satisfying. The lens comes with this nylon case and two lens hoods. One of them pays homage to the original Olux lens hood. Problem is, you can't use any filters with the Olux hood, so you have to use this screw-on vented type. Now in 2023, Leica said that this lens hood does have a little bit of a design defect, and that defect is causing vignetting, especially when used with filters. This is primarily caused by the lens hood sticking out too much and getting in the plane of view. In this photo, you can see the original vented hood with a newer redesigned vented hood that is sold with the current steel rim reissues. I'm working with my dealer and also Leica directly to see if we can get our hands on this newer hood for my steel rim. The vignetting that you experience with the original vented hood doesn't bother me so much because I like the antique and the vintage feel of some of my images. It would still be nice to get that newer vented hood, so there's more follow up on that one. As for the overall image quality rendered by this lens, I'll let you be the judge. There's lots of images from the steel rim in this video to look at. When it comes to lenses, I generally don't like to look at things from a technical viewpoint. There's plenty of other people out there doing that. Instead, I just look at how the image comes out and how it makes me feel. Coming back from White Post, we saw this really neat RC Cola sign and foam booth. Look at this. Tell you, phone booths now are becoming a rarity. So why not? Let's get a phone booth shot. It was time to cross the border into West Virginia for this nice find. Reminds me of what we see in California, the big boy. This is the Farnham Colossi. It's an eccentric family owned collection of fiberglass figures coming from roadside advertising and amusement parks across the country. It looks like Santa's on his back. I don't know if this is gonna come through pretty good. 35 mil, but give it a whirl. George and Pam Farnham, who own this property, sadly weren't around during my visit. I love the texture with the chip paint on the siding, really nice. Looks like a metallic or a tin roof as well. Yeah, you can't go wrong with this. Heading back to the RV park and crossing back into Virginia, we came across the remnants of John Strip Mall. There's something about these older style gas pumps that are not self-serve. You don't see these around much anymore. <sighs> Two ninety nine a gallon. It wasn't that long ago. Interesting signage. You got John's music. John's camping and RV supplies, John's fresh meat and groceries, John's truck accessories, John's camper sales, John's kerosene, and John's grocery. All here. John just does it all. Well, he did. Hey, if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you watching. That's it from the back roads of Virginia. We'll catch you in the next video.